When I woke up at 6 a.m., I felt refreshed and ready for the day. I started by taking a shower to wake myself up even more. After the shower, I made myself a cup of coffee to give me some energy. The smell of the coffee made me feel awake and alert. I enjoyed sipping on the hot coffee while I got myself ready for the day. This morning routine helps me start my day off on the right foot. This morning, I made myself breakfast. I decided to have cereal with milk. I poured the cereal into a bowl and added some cold milk. After that, I toasted a slice of bread. Once it was ready, I spread some butter on top. I enjoyed my breakfast while sitting at the kitchen table. The cereal was crunchy and the milk was refreshing. The toast had a nice crispy texture with a hint of buttery flavor. I felt satisfied and ready to start my day after finishing my meal. I woke up and got ready for work. I walked to the bus stop and waited for the bus. When the bus arrived, I got on and found a seat. I sat down and watched the scenery pass by as the bus moved. The journey to my workplace took about 20 minutes. Finally, the bus arrived at my stop and I got off. I walked the rest of the way to my office building. It was a normal commute to work. This morning, my team and I had a meeting. We gathered to talk about our ongoing projects and share updates. Everyone had a chance to speak and give updates on their progress. We discussed any challenges we were facing and brainstormed solutions together. It was a productive meeting, and we made plans for the rest of the week. After the meeting, we all went back to our workstations and started working on our tasks. It was a great way to start the day and ensure that we were all on the same page. During my lunch break, I prepared a sandwich at home. I carefully packed it in my lunchbox. I brought it to the office with me. When it was time for lunch, I went to the cafeteria. I found a table and sat down. I opened my lunchbox and took out my sandwich. It was filled with fresh vegetables and slices of ham. I took a bite and it tasted delicious. I felt satisfied as I enjoyed my homemade meal. After finishing my sandwich, I cleaned up my lunchbox. Then, I returned to work feeling refreshed and ready for the rest of the day. In the afternoon, I focused on my work projects. I spent time replying to emails and completing any urgent tasks that needed attention. I stayed productive and made progress on my assignments. Time passed quickly as I stayed focused on my work. 
It was a busy afternoon, but I managed to stay on top of my tasks. By the end of the day, I felt satisfied with what I had accomplished. On my way back, I needed to buy some groceries. So, I decided to stop by the grocery store. When I arrived, I grabbed a shopping cart and headed inside. First, I went to the produce section. I picked out some fresh fruits like bananas, apples, and oranges. Then, I moved on to the vegetable section and got some broccoli, carrots, and lettuce. Next, I went down the aisles to find the rest of my items. I needed some milk, bread, eggs, and cheese. I also grabbed some pasta, rice, and canned beans. Finally, I made my way to the checkout counter. The cashier scanned my items and I paid with cash. After packing my groceries into bags, I left the store and headed home. Yesterday, I decided to go for a jog in the park near my house. The weather was nice. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to get some exercise. I put on my running shoes and headed out the door. As I started jogging, I could feel the fresh air filling my lungs. It felt so refreshing. The park was filled with trees and flowers, creating a beautiful atmosphere. I passed by some people walking their dogs and others playing sports. It was nice to see everyone enjoying the outdoors. I continued jogging until I felt tired and then slowly made my way back home. Overall, it was a great way to start my day and I felt energized afterwards. I finished my activities for the day and got ready for bed. First, I went to the bathroom to brush my teeth. I squeezed toothpaste onto my toothbrush and brushed my teeth for two minutes. After that, I turned on the faucet and rinsed my mouth. Next, I picked up a towel and wet it with warm water. With the wet towel, I gently washed my face to remove any dirt or oil. Once my face felt clean, I patted it dry with a clean towel. Then, I walked to my bedroom and opened my pajama drawer. I chose a pair of comfortable pajamas to wear for the night. After changing, I climbed into bed and pulled the blankets up to my chin. I closed my eyes, ready to sleep peacefully. Last night, I went to bed feeling tired. I closed my eyes and relaxed my body. Slowly, I drifted off to sleep. I didn't have any trouble falling asleep. I slept peacefully throughout the night. I didn't wake up until the morning. When I woke up, I felt refreshed and ready to start the day. Sleeping well is important for our health and energy.
I'm glad I had a good night's sleep. On the weekend, I had a lot of chores to do. First, I cleaned my house from top to bottom. I vacuumed every room, dusted the furniture, and mopped the floors. It took a long time, but I wanted my house to be nice and clean. After that, I tackled the pile of laundry that had been building up all week. I sorted the clothes into different loads and started washing them. While the laundry was going, I decided to run some errands. I went to the grocery store to buy some food and then stopped by the bank to deposit a check. I also needed to pick up a package from the post office. Finally, I returned home and finished folding and putting away the clean laundry. By the end of the day, I felt satisfied knowing that I had completed all of my weekend chores. I met up with my friends at a cafe. We ordered coffee and sat down at a table together. We talked about what we've been doing lately and shared updates on our lives. It was nice to catch up with each other and hear about everyone's experiences. We laughed and had a good time during our conversation. The atmosphere in the cafe was cozy and relaxed. We stayed for a while, enjoying our drinks and chatting. As the time went by, we realized that we had been talking for hours. Eventually, we said our goodbyes and went our separate ways. It was a wonderful time spent with friends, and I'm looking forward to our next gathering. I went to the beach on a sunny day. The weather was perfect for relaxing by the ocean. I brought my towel and sunscreen with me. I started by swimming in the refreshing water. The waves were gentle, making it easy to swim. After a while, I decided to take a break and lay on my towel. I enjoyed the warmth of the sun on my skin. The sound of the waves was very soothing. I closed my eyes and listened to the peaceful sound. I could feel myself getting more relaxed. I stayed at the beach for several hours, alternating between swimming and sunbathing. When it was time to leave, I packed up my things and headed home. It was a wonderful day spent enjoying the beach and the ocean. I decided to go for a walk in the city to explore new areas. As I walked, I came across different neighborhoods I hadn't seen before. I noticed unique shops and cafes along the way. In one neighborhood, I found a charming bookstore with a cozy atmosphere. I spent some time browsing through the books and ended up buying a novel. Continuing my walk, I stumbled upon a small park tucked away between buildings. It had beautiful flowers and benches where people were enjoying the sunshine. Further down the road, I spotted a colorful mural painted on the side of a building. 
It was a delightful piece of art that brightened up the street. As my walk came to an end, I was amazed at the hidden gems I had discovered in the city. It was a wonderful experience exploring and finding new places to visit in my own city. Yesterday, I went to the gym to work out. I started by using the treadmill to warm up my body. After that, I moved on to the weight machines and did some exercises for my arms and legs. I also tried out the stationary bike and cycled for a while. Next, I used the rowing machine to work on my upper body strength. Lastly, I finished my workout with some stretching exercises to cool down. It was a great session at the gym, and I felt accomplished and energized afterwards. I decided to try a new hobby, so I started learning how to play the guitar. Every day, I would practice a few chords to get better. I would spend about 30 minutes practicing trying to get the finger placements just right. At first, it was difficult and my fingers would feel sore, but I kept at it. After a few weeks, I started to see some progress. I could play simple songs and it felt satisfying. It was challenging but also enjoyable. I realized that learning a new hobby takes time and patience. I am excited to continue practicing and improving my guitar skills. I spent the afternoon tending to my garden. I planted new flowers and watered the plants. I enjoyed being outside and working with the soil. It was a sunny day, and the birds were chirping. I dug small holes to place the new flowers in. Then, I gently covered the roots with soil. I made sure to give each flower enough space to grow. After planting, I grabbed the watering can and started watering the plants. It felt refreshing to see the water nourish the soil. I watered each plant carefully, making sure not to drown them. As I finished up, I admired the bright colors of the flowers. My garden looked beautiful and full of life. Gardening is a calming and rewarding activity. I can't wait to see my plants grow and bloom. Yesterday, my family had a special gathering at our house. We all gathered together to spend time with each other. We had a delicious dinner that was made by one of my family members. The food tasted amazing and everyone enjoyed it. It was a homemade meal, so it felt even more special. We sat around the table and talked and laughed while eating. It was a great time to catch up with each other and share stories. We all felt happy and grateful to be together. After dinner, we played some games and had a lot of fun. It was a fantastic evening filled with love and joy. I feel lucky to have such a wonderful family that I can spend time with.
I started looking at travel options for my next vacation. I spent time researching and comparing different destinations. I wanted to find a place that suited my interests and budget. After gathering information, I started planning my trip. I made a list of attractions and activities I wanted to explore. I also looked for accommodation options that fit my preferences. I considered the transportation options available in each location. Finally, I created an itinerary with specific dates and planned out each day of my vacation. I'm excited to see and experience everything I've planned for my upcoming trip. I hopped on my bicycle and rode around town. The wind brushed against my face as I pedaled along. I admired the beautiful scenery that surrounded me. It was a pleasant experience to explore the town on my bike. The fresh air and exercise made me feel energized. I really enjoyed the freedom and tranquility of riding my bike. I decided to try a new restaurant in my town. They had a specialty dish listed on their menu. I ordered it and waited for my food to arrive. When the dish was served, it looked very appetizing. I took a bite and it tasted amazing. The flavors were unique and the ingredients were fresh. I enjoyed my meal and had a satisfying experience at the new restaurant. I decided to give my room a makeover, so I bought new curtains, pillows, and paint. The curtains are a soft shade of blue and match perfectly with the pillows. The paint I chose is a lovely pastel color that brightens up the room. It took me a while to finish painting all the walls, but it was worth it. Now my room feels fresh and cozy, and I love spending time in it. My friends have complimented me on how nice it looks, which makes me happy. I'm really proud of myself for taking on this project and making my room feel more inviting. I had a broken chair at home, so I decided to fix it myself. I gathered some basic tools like a screwdriver, hammer, and pliers. First, I examined the chair to figure out what needed to be fixed. Then, I followed the instructions I found online. I started by tightening loose screws with the screwdriver. Next, I used the pliers to fix a wobbly leg by tightening the bolts. Lastly, I hammered a loose piece back into place. After a bit of work, the chair was sturdy and good as new. I felt proud of myself for being able to repair something on my own. Yesterday, I decided to work on a DIY project. I wanted to create something unique, so I decided to use recycled materials for my project. I gathered old cardboard boxes, empty plastic bottles, and scrap fabric. 
First, I cut the cardboard into different shapes and sizes. Then, I painted them using bright colors. Next, I cut the plastic bottles into small pieces and glued them onto the cardboard. This created an interesting texture. After that, I sewed the scrap fabric together to make a small pouch. I attached the pouch to one of the cardboard pieces using glue. Finally, I added some finishing touches by gluing buttons and ribbons onto the project. Overall, it was a fun and creative day spent making something new out of old materials. I climbed a tall hill and saw an amazing sunset. The sky was filled with vibrant colors, oranges, pinks, and purples. It was a breathtaking sight. I decided to take a picture to remember it. I took out my phone and snapped a photo of the setting sun. The sun slowly descended below the horizon, leaving behind a peaceful and serene atmosphere. I stood there for a while, just taking in the beauty of nature. It was a truly unforgettable experience. I woke up early in the morning and went to my garden. I picked some fresh fruits, like strawberries and blueberries. I washed them carefully to make sure they were clean. Then, I took off the stems and cut them into small pieces. I put the fruit in a big pot and added some sugar. Next, I turned on the stove and let the fruit and sugar cook for a while. I stirred it gently to make sure everything mixed together. After a while, the fruit started to soften and turn into a thick, sticky jam. I turned off the stove and let the jam cool down. Once it was cool, I poured it into small jars and sealed them tightly. The homemade jam looked so delicious and smelled amazing. I couldn't wait to have it for breakfast. The next morning, I spread the homemade jam on a slice of toast. It tasted so sweet and fruity. I was proud of myself for making such a tasty jam from the fruits in my own garden. Yesterday, I decided to try a new coffee shop that recently opened in my town. When I walked in, I was immediately greeted by the aroma of freshly brewed coffee. The place had a cozy atmosphere with comfortable seating arrangements. I ordered a cup of their signature coffee blend and eagerly waited for it to be served. As I took my first sip, I was pleasantly surprised by the rich and smooth flavor. It tasted different from the coffee I usually drink, but in a good way. I sat there for a while, enjoying my drink and observing the bustling activity around me. Overall, it was a delightful experience trying out this new coffee shop. Yesterday, I noticed that my elderly neighbor was struggling with her groceries. So, I decided to help her. 
I went over to her house and offered to carry her bags inside. She was very grateful and thanked me. After that, I noticed that her house was a bit messy, so I asked if she needed help cleaning. She agreed, so I started tidying up the living room. It felt good to help someone in need. I finished cleaning and said goodbye to my neighbor. She thanked me once again and told me how much she appreciated my help. Helping her made me realize how important it is to lend a hand to others in our community. Last week, my friend asked me to take care of their pet. I happily agreed and took on the responsibility. Each day, I made sure to feed the pet at the same time. I followed the instructions my friend gave me so that the pet had the correct amount of food. In the afternoon, I took the pet for a walk in the park. We strolled around, enjoying the fresh air and the sights. I made sure to clean up after the pet if it needed to do its business. After the walk, we played together for a while. I used the pet's favorite toys and engaged in different activities to keep them entertained. It was a fun and active time for both of us. I continued this routine for a few days until my friend came back to pick up their pet. I was glad to have had the opportunity to take care of the pet and spend time with them. I decided to go to the swimming pool. It was a hot day, and I wanted to cool off. I changed into my swimsuit and went into the water. The pool was crowded, but I found a space to swim. The water felt refreshing on my skin. I started swimming back and forth, enjoying the rhythmic motion. I could feel myself getting better at swimming with each stroke. After some time, I took a break and sat by the poolside. I watched others having fun in the water. It was a peaceful moment. I decided to swim a little more before leaving. I went back into the water and continued swimming. Finally, when I felt satisfied, I got out of the pool and dried myself off. It was a great experience, and I felt rejuvenated. I'm definitely going to come back for more swims in the future. I decided to try something new for my workout routine today. Instead of my usual routine, I found a workout video online. The video was challenging, but I wanted to push myself. I followed along with the instructor as they demonstrated various exercises and stretches. It was different from what I was used to, but I gave it my best effort. Some of the exercises were quite difficult, but I tried my hardest to complete them. The stretches helped to improve my flexibility and I could feel my muscles working. Overall, it was a good experience trying something different for my workout routine. I 
I visited a busy market in my town. There were many stalls selling different things. I walked around, looking at the various items on display. The market was crowded with people buying fruits, vegetables, and clothes. Some stalls had delicious smelling street food. I tried some local snacks and they were tasty. I saw colorful fabrics, handmade crafts, and fresh produce. The market was lively and filled with different sounds and smells. I enjoyed exploring the market and experiencing the vibrant atmosphere. I decided to teach my friend how to ride a bicycle. I showed them the basics, like how to balance and pedal. We started in a quiet park with no traffic. I held onto the back of the bike and ran alongside them. They were a bit wobbly at first, but they quickly got the hang of it. I let go and watched as they started riding on their own. They looked a bit nervous at first, but their confidence grew with each pedal. I cheered them on and they had a huge smile on their face. They rode around the park for a while, gaining more and more control over the bike. It was amazing to see their progress. I could tell they were proud of themselves. We celebrated their accomplishment with a high five and we both felt a sense of achievement. Teaching my friend how to ride a bicycle was a rewarding experience for both of us. I decided to sit down and write in my journal today. It's something I like to do at the end of the day. I find it helpful to reflect on what happened and think about how I felt. I started by writing about the things I did throughout the day. I wrote about the tasks I completed and the people I interacted with. I also wrote about any challenges or obstacles I faced. Then, I moved on to writing about my thoughts and emotions. I expressed how I felt about different situations and events. It was a great way for me to process my feelings and gain a better understanding of myself. Overall, it was a productive and therapeutic experience. Writing in my journal helps me to unwind and prepare for the next day. Today, I decided to try something new with my hair. I watched a tutorial online and learned a new hairstyle. I followed the instructions and started to style my hair differently. First, I washed my hair and let it dry a little bit. Then, I combed it and divided it into sections. I carefully followed the tutorial step by step, styling each section of my hair. It took some time to get used to the new technique, but I kept practicing. Finally, after a few tries, I was able to achieve the desired look. I was excited to see the final result in the mirror. My new hairstyle looked different and unique.
I felt proud of myself for trying something new and successfully changing my hairstyle. It was a fun experience and it made me feel more confident about my appearance. I prepared for a job interview by researching the company and practicing my answers. I arrived at the interview location early to make a good impression. The interviewer asked me questions about my experience and skills. I confidently answered the questions and provided examples from my previous positions. The interview went well and I felt positive about my chances. I thanked the interviewer for their time and left the interview feeling hopeful. I spent the day planting flowers, herbs, and vegetables in my garden. I carefully dug holes in the soil and placed the plants inside. I made sure to space them out properly so they had room to grow. After planting each one, I gently pressed the soil around them to secure them in place. Then, I watered them thoroughly to help them settle in. I will continue to water them regularly and provide them with sunlight so they can flourish. I am excited to see them grow and eventually harvest the vegetables for meals. I visited a zoo last week. It was really exciting to see all the different animals there. They had animals from all over the world, like lions, tigers, and bears. I saw big elephants, tall giraffes, and fast cheetahs. The monkeys were swinging from trees and the birds were flying in their cages. It was amazing to see so many animals in one place. They even had a reptile section with snakes, turtles, and lizards. I spent a lot of time watching the penguins swim and the seals play. It was a fun day and I learned a lot about different animals. I went for a hike up a mountain trail. The trail was challenging, but I wanted to challenge myself physically. As I climbed higher, the views became more and more breathtaking. The cool breeze on my face felt refreshing. I could hear birds chirping in the distance. Along the way, I saw colorful flowers and tall trees. I took breaks to catch my breath and admire the scenery. The hike was tiring, but the sense of accomplishment was worth it. Finally, I reached the top of the mountain and was rewarded with an amazing panoramic view. I took some photos to capture the moment. After taking some time to rest and soak in the beauty around me, I started my descent. The hike back down was easier, but I still had to be careful not to slip on the loose rocks. Overall, it was an amazing experience and I felt proud of myself for completing the hike. Yesterday, my friend got sick, so I took care of them. I bought medicine for them and made sure they took it. 
I also cooked meals for them so they could eat something healthy. I stayed with my friend the whole time to keep them company and offer my support. I made sure they had everything they needed, like water and blankets. I cleaned up their room and kept it tidy. I helped them get comfortable and made sure they got plenty of rest. I checked on them regularly to see if they needed anything else. It was important for me to take care of my friend while they were sick. Yesterday, I decided to try a new cuisine at a local restaurant. As I entered the restaurant, the aroma of spices filled the air. I looked at the menu and saw many unfamiliar dishes. Curious, I decided to order a popular dish from that cuisine. The waiter brought out a plate filled with colorful and aromatic food. I took a bite and immediately tasted a burst of flavors. It was spicy, tangy, and savory all at once. Each bite was a new experience for my taste buds. The combination of ingredients was something I had never tried before. I was pleasantly surprised by how much I enjoyed the dish. It was a delightful adventure for my culinary palate. I finished my meal feeling satisfied and eager to explore more cuisines in the future. I went to a popular cafe with some friends. We wanted to enjoy a nice brunch together. We ordered avocado toast and coffee, which were both very tasty. The cafe had a trendy vibe and was quite busy. We had a good time chatting and catching up with each other. The atmosphere was pleasant and the staff were friendly. The cafe had a cozy interior and comfortable seating. The brunch menu had a variety of options to choose from. Overall, it was a great experience and I would definitely go back again. Yesterday, I decided to try something new for dinner. I went to a restaurant that specialized in Thai food. As soon as I walked in, I was greeted by the wonderful aroma of different spices. The menu had so many options, it was hard to choose. I finally settled on Pad Thai, a popular dish. When the food arrived, I couldn't wait to dig in. The flavors were incredible, with a perfect balance of sweet, sour, and spicy. The noodles were cooked just right, and the vegetables added a nice crunch. I enjoyed every bite and couldn't believe I hadn't tried Thai food before. It was a great experience trying a new cuisine and I'm definitely going back for more. Before going to bed, I took a moment to reflect on my day. It was filled with various experiences. From the morning until the evening, I had a lot going on. I felt grateful for the meaningful moments that happened. I enjoyed spending time with my family and friends, and we laughed a lot.
I also accomplished some tasks at work, which made me feel productive. In the evening, I went for a walk in the park and enjoyed the peaceful atmosphere. Overall, it was a good day, and I felt happy about it. As I lay in bed, I looked forward to the adventures that tomorrow would bring.